Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now we gotta be routing the reserves. We now have to decide. Either our civilians or our military will have to cut their power usage for the other to keep going in relative normality. Who shall be? So, I asked you guys yesterday quite a few questions. But this one was, should we cut the military spending? Or shall we ration energy use? And overall, there's quite a bit more support for us to choose cut military spending. Now, there's support on both sides, but overwhelming, like, at the time of this recording. There's a lot more for military spending, so... There we go, my friends. If you'd like to read about cut, cutting military spending, go right ahead. We lost some more support. But now we can choose another focus. Now, I did ask you guys yesterday as well. Whether we should be pretending inferiority or win without a fight. Well... I'll let you know when we get there. So, let's go ahead and choose... You know what? I kind of want to see what happens when we do either one of these. So, uh, let's do knowing the enemy first. Max plan is kind of nice. Triple X. Not bad. We have no manpower, which is big sadness hours. And we have asymmetric warfare. So, I also asked you guys yesterday what land doctrine we should go down. And luckily no one said the super mutant outside of warfare tree. Thank goodness. I would have cringed to that a little bit, but whatever. But, I asked you guys which... Uh, land action we should go down and overall there's actually a lot of support I mean overwhelming support for us to go to refined warfare so well, I've only switched land auctions two times already in this campaign and we're barely two minutes into this, the second video go figure whatever how much manpower are we missing oh we're missing some infantry equipment too well that's not good but in time it won't matter um, we're on western pacification which is good sorry I'm used to seeing like uh the stuff from, like, civilian economy from, you know, base vanilla. Uh, biplane fighters would be pretty nice this time of year as well. But this won't matter too much of entry just because we'll get some more compliance, and that should definitely, definitely, definitely help us out. Even though we could use some more army XP just because I believe we're using... Ooh, Sentinel Detachments. Oh, that would be kind of nice, actually. Um, yeah, we want to definitely make these guys, don't we? These guys are good and all, but we're going to make sure that we actually use some garrisons. We don't have any militia. Maybe I got rid of the militia? Maybe I didn't? I can't remember at this point. But we have some Gari Sons. There you go. Cool. And once we get up to... Oh, 6.8, 6.9. That's a lot every day. Eventually, we will take off the anti-tank and make sure we don't have to waste anti-tank equipment when garrisoning areas. Which is obviously not a good idea. Wait. Also, a bit volunteers. Well, we are the Chinese Communists. Daily compliance game. One on car manpower. Outsider battalions. Would we let others serve with us? No outsiders. It seems like no outsiders would probably be better for us. But we are conquering more people. That goes the North Pole Enclave. Forgot about them. Just for gameplay purposes, we're going to keep it on outsider volunteers. Eventually, we might just go with no outsiders. But we'll see what happens. Unless you guys think differently, of course, which is totally fine. I don't really. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. Spec Ops, Operative Slots, actually, do we have anyone for Operative Slots right now? Technically, yes. So let's put down the gosh darn resistance. There we go. And knowing the enemy, my friends, in which we shall be knowing yourself. Triple X. Very nice. Up next, let's go ahead and choose some... Oh, look at this. Firebirds of Zihe. Zihe. Interesting. Way higher production cost, but better agility and max speed for everybody. Are many hands of Du Do Mu. Cool. Oh, what? Less production cost, but less stats? Uh, I don't know about that. I was just going to go grab this one, but hey, we got something like this. Firebirds. Not bad. Alright, War Industrialist. Why not? Let's go and go do that one. How much would... Do we get free cores on this eventually? Probably not. So I don't mind coring that stuff. Eventually. Knowing yourself is a very, very good thing. Other comments, though. So we talked about cutting civilian grid or cutting military spending. Someone recommends we try out the Real World Mod. Uh, I'm totally okay with that. I have never heard of that, but I'll probably look it up after this, you know, episode or, or this campaign. So we'll see what happens. I'm not opposed to it. You know, let's play as Russia or North Korea and take out everyone in the world. Sounds like a fun time. All right, let's come over here, garrisons, and take this off. Actually, we have no doggos yet, which is totally okay for now. And throw you instead on here. Thank you. Now that should save us just a slight bit of equipment. I guess a slight amount of manpower as well. Not very much though. Wow. That is looking quite bad. 551, 561. Uh, tell me the compliance is it's still going up, which is good. As long as it's still going up, that's okay with us. Knowing yourself. So, I did say whether we should do triple X pretending inferiority or winning without a fight. And overall, the there was quite a bit more 
support, actually, for us to do win without a fight, because it's smarter to win battles without even having to fight. So, XXX, a permanent offer to Iron Alliance, because we have, well, over 15,000 caps, early 15 caps, 15k caps, whatever. Knowing ourselves, I like the entrenchment. Entrenchment is very nice to have, actually. Yeah, we're missing a lot of this. Holy crap. Infantry armor slowly coming along. So painfully slowly. Come on, get some more compliance. Hurry. And while some research doesn't seem enough, and when without a fight, we'll do the way of the waste if we can. Uh, X, X, X. We get rid of knowing ourselves and knowing the enemy, so we lose it. the max planning bonus as well as the plus max entrenchment. Which we get 10% more divi infantry division attack, 15% more max planning, 2.5 max entrenchment, more special forces capacity multiplier, and minimum capacity, and infantry speed. I like that. And then after that, we're probably just going to go ahead and maybe move down here. Harness the sun. Revise hydro turbines. Settling our focus. Saving the industry is not a bad idea, but I kind of want to wait. Despotic nation taking what is ours. The hard route. Outsourcing our work. Huh. I kind of want to come over here to get some more manpower first, though. Long-term solution? It seems like manpower is probably going to be the most important thing that we could really use. So we'll probably go with bodies for the war machine. And we love bodies here in uh, Kami Chinese... You know, Colorado. The CCC. Hmm. Kami Colorado Chinese. Chinese Kami Colorado. Ah. It's always nice when you can figure out how to use clay. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. We can grab this last stuff down there. But let's grab some improvised tools. Thank you very much. Apollo Vault City, goodbye. Oh, and it looks like we are maxed out on resistance, and it might be actually going down slightly. Very, very nice. 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Very good. Why am I both changing? All right. <clears throat> let's change it back. Uh, exploit. Oh, okay. So, did they inv invest? Communist grants, multi population, research speed, master ideology drift. So, I guess. North go North Pole Enclave. Oh, there are a puppet. Okay, interesting. That is something I was not expecting. So we don't get to an annex them, or we can eventually integrate them, which would be kind of nice, actually. So if that's the case, how much manpower do they have? They really like us. They don't have very much, so I'd rather just use their gar garbage divisions. Eventually we can integrate them, so that'd be kind of nice. All right then. Do one more war though. Let's see, Lee Ma. Ooh, ooh, I like that one. Skilled is so good, so good. Night person, the way of the waste is not bad. Since we do have infantry, we're gonna go with reconnaissance just because down our land auction will get like a little bit more reconnaissance. But let's do a long-term solution. We'll help a boulder dome. We finally found a way to make at least the use of the barrels and work towards an actual cure. Yet, how did we get there? How did we get there? Now I would like to take these guys out. It's going to take a little bit of time. And go ahead and train when you're ready. Thank you very much. Are we building anything? Uh, one of these guys. Not much, but it'll have to do. Yeah, Sentinel Detachment sounds like a lot of fun. 20 combo with already. Can we put some support power armor on our power armor? Seems kind of redundant. Capture the Warren. I need to play as a Troll Warren again sometime. I remember I played as them before they got an update with like the Mormons. But, yeah. Oh, imminent raid against the borders from the Withered Dogs. Thankfully, we managed to decipher messages and sent between the raiders and earlier to the target before any nasty surprises. Should have monster defense. If that's the case, go and stop. You guys hopefully will defend. Oh, bot plane fighters. Very good, very good. That's a little bit ahead of time. Can we grab this? No. Better anti tank? No. Um, what do we want? Land auction? Special forces? I mean, I suppose so. That's always good to do, right? Better gliders? Very nice, very nice. A long-term solution, yeah, I'll maybe go, oh, if you like to read about that, go right ahead. If you like to read about studying our condition, because I will read about bodies for the war machine. Finally find a way to put an end to the rot. And we do get one more weekly manpower, literally just one, which is not bad, not bad. And, okay, so let's look at cores. So there's 13, put an end, no, um, to rally the people, no, put an end to, no, no. So much salvage gains a core on Sydney and Houndlands. Sydney, Houndlands. So yes, we do get a core on that stuff eventually. Please pause the game. Game raid repelled. Great job. Is that it? One, two, three. 
Oh, the Luminous Ones as well. Luminous Ones, Sydney. Chugwada, huh? Oh, it's over there too. Pizza and Holyoke. And New Sterling, huh? Okay, interesting. And one final push. Laramie. Glowbugs. And the resistance on Helmlands. Alright, interesting. So, I didn't see anything for Scott's Bluff. Right? We didn't see anything for Scott's Bluff. Or Avalo. Let's double check. Double check. So, there's that. Avalo. Because I don't want to make a mistake. If we get free cores, I... Yeah, okay, so we don't. So we have to core this manually. Fine. Whatever. It is what it is, right? 3,000... Eh, it doesn't really matter. I'd probably prefer to core this one first just because it has three factories in here. Or workshops compared to these two, so... Uh, clamp down on autonomy. Actually, that'd be pretty good to do. Political bribes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do some political... Uh, clamp down on autonomy, actually. Might as well. And what, this one is... Uh, Good old Boulder Dome. Boulder Dome has been one of our main targets before the war. Whatever we got out of it has always been highly classified beyond any of our clearances. Yet today, we're sending in a scouting party to find a cure to, to our ailment. Their focus on medical research is well known and should provide us with the means to end our own suffering. How do we enter, though? There's a reason Boulder Dome was praised as a city of the future. It's sealed up tight. Open the gates by force. This may have unforeseen consequences. The defected scientists might know more. Well, at least we know that the surrounding area, or surroundings, now is well and enter through a surface tunnel. Of course. That uh, sounds like a good idea. Alright, so if we had blue stuff up, we might not be able to do too much here. I want that population, but it seems like we're doing okay. Ooh, there's so much I want to do. So much. Saving the industry is not bad. But let's wait till we get more factories first. Oh, let's do this one. Revise Hydro Turbines. Project Yangtze. One solution to our problems could be the use of breeder colonies. The, those genetically altered bacteria can produce energy by digesting irradiated material. However, they need to be underwater and would take special turbines to maximize their efficiency. Start good. Wait, no, I'm not playing Tiano. Very good. And eh, not that many caps, but what do you expect? Not bad. Oh, wait. Oh, you guys are here. Very good. General, you did a great job with our allies, soldiers. You guys go and do the same thing, industrial support. And how many guns are we making every single day? We're doing quite a bit better, look at that, nice, very nice. Even even power armor's looking better now. Uh, I love compliance, regardless. So we sa I already said that someone left a comment from the last video saying we should try out the real world mod. And actually, someone tried to help me with the pronunciations of our glorious, glorious Kami ghoul leader. So apparently it's, I said it's like Shang Xiao or something like that? Someone said it's Shang Shou? Oh, Shou. They try to say that the A in sh Shang, or it's really Shang, it's more like the A in Barn, so Bar, R, Shang, so it's maybe Shang, Shou, Shang, Shou. I don't know, I, I, like I said, I, I don't speak Chinese, but, uh, and Yu is just the guy's name, so apparently Shang, Shou, it just means Colonel, so Colonel Yu. Not Colonel Me, but Colonel Yu. Harness some, why not? Another solution lies right above our heads in the early stages of our stealth suit program. Many materials have been tested. One of them bore a striking resemblance to solar sails. While they have been used for projects far beyond any of our clearances, we could work on an independently hovering solar collector. Very good. And we're still missing stuff. Obviously guns and manpower, but... Okay, just manpower then. We're doing a little better. A little better, 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 better. My leaf also... I mean, I'm not opposed to switching this around later on, but we'll see what happens. I think we're okay in the tent. Anti-sub stuff, decisive battle, Mao Ting, Liu Shen. Oh, Mao Ting. Let's grab some resource production, that'd be very, very nice. And we're only at... Oh, I might actually raise up that outsider level. That's just not going up fast enough, man. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got... Oh, that gave us five extra energy, not bad. An army reborn, not bad either. Hero of the people, which definitely actually helps out. It That really does help out, so. Uh, we have Guan... Guon Bu. Nine days, eight days, the loss in a week. Cool. And how about this? Setting our focus. Now that we were able to get a look at both prototypes, we have to decide on whether we want to go with a more risky approach of solar collectors or focus on breeders. Hmm. Breeders, huh? Alright, well, we gotta figure out what we wanna do. No cough here right now, but this water I have. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And let's save up some more uh, manpower. Look at that. Project Zaihi Dou Mu. Nice. And I'm glad we put, we actually have an intelligence agency to put down um, this stuff. Thank you, La Resistance. Man, that DLC. It was okay. It wasn't great. 
but it is what it is. And actually, let's take a look at this. Manage subjects. Is this going up or down? It's going down because of a master impact. Oh, but it went back up. Why'd it go back up? Setting our focus. Now that we've gotten a glimpse of what we could do to produce more energy, we now have to decide. Will we go for the Reliable Breeder Project or the Experimental Zihi Domu Project? Well, this sounds like it has ramifications for the future. This one? Or this one? And... Oh, we get another research lot. That's really good. Friends of the Tiger. Ooh. Communist Grants. Land of Ghouls. Withered Dogs, Luminous Ones, Glow Bugs. Well... Let's see, we cut military spending already. There's this one. Hmm. I kind of want to go risky. But but the other side of me says Yangtze is more reliable. And we did stuff that already that was reliable, such as winning without a fight is smart. So let's be smart and know and work with what we know what works. So Project Breeder will suffice. No, no, no. We want Yangtze. So we will pro Project... No. Oh, uh, this, is, this is a little confusing. Remove modifier. Project Yangtze. Project Breeder. Remove... Okay, so we want this left side then. There we go. Project Yangtze, which is a river. It's the code name given to our breeder project. While it offers a sustainable energy output, it makes it possible to recycle a few other worth, worthwhile, worthless resources. Otherwise, worthless resources. It can only do so much. So be it. We know it's reliable. If We're smart about knowing that we'll get a guaranteed amount of energy. Or whatever. Oh, wait. We're now elites. I thought we were people earlier. And I like that they have the uh, white sun over the black banner there. That's kind of... Smart. Oh, well equipped army. Ask eh, screw it. We'll go that way then. Oh, maybe we should build some stuff up actually. Oh, we already tried to. Okay then. Mm, there you go. And we gotta build stuff eventually too. So we'll see what happens. 58%. Oh, it's so low. But obviously later on we're gonna do okay. Followers of the Apocalypse. If you like to read about these guys, go right ahead. Followers of the Apocalypse. Yeah, well, we'll let them in. We'll let them in. That's fine with me. I'll think about getting rid of them. I mean, I'm not sure if the... Chinese ghouls really know who the follower of the apocalypse would be, but as long as they attend to our wounded, c'est la vie. Hey, you are really good. Steel warriors, huh? Not bad. Are we still missing guns? Or just manpower? It's, it's manpower. Special forces. Happy 2277, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Grab some vacuum tubes. And then we shall grab some deco signals, which I forgot to do already. Alright, what's next? So, what do we need? The end of our struggles. When you get done here, how do we do this? Consolidating our rule. How do we do this? The tiger's given into the people, becoming a tyrant. Huh. Oh, that's why we switch things around. How do we go this way? Oh, that would have been so nice. More compliance? Oh, wow, look at that. The tiger has given into the people. Okay. Well then. Hmm, I still want more manpower, but I kind of want to wait now. Let's do saving the industry. The foolish endeavor damaged a lot of our industry. If we were to rebuild again, we need to push the workers by force, which gives us a lot more construction speed, so hopefully we can build up a lot more infrastructure, I guess. That's fine with me. I don't really care too much. Grant the bases. Nah, we good. Ooh, build a breeder colony. Building breeder colonies isn't an easy task. It'll take some time, but the payoff is guaranteed. Remove Mama Dolce's algae surprise. Oh, when we, we select that, minus five consumer goods. That's not bad. I want to build a breeder colony. No, like, are we breeding people or are we building, you know, other things? That's my main question. All right, so resistance should be basically zero at this point, right? Yeah, it's one percent max. Saving the industry, taking what is ours. Well, or taxing the people. Despotic nation. The hard routes. Uh, the hard routes. Outsourcing their work. Oh, as of now, the slavery system has been disabled due to an overhaul. Well, if that's the case, I want to go ahead and do taxing the people then. A quick way to restore our industry would be to add an additional tax collected immediately. Which sounds like it's a the tried and true system or way of doing things, so it sounds like a, probably the way we want to go. 106, are we getting any more manpower? No, we're not. It's not going down, it's not going up, which is not good. 
Hmm. Are we paused? No, we're not. So let's keep going up. Keep going up. Hopefully get some more non-core manpower. 106. Still 106. That's fine. And we'll do the hard route. Oh, well, once we do get some more research first. So encoded signals. Very good. So, our personal long march, by pushing our workers beyond their boundaries and using performance-enhancing cams, we can build the groundwork of a most perfect industry. What is this? Just Ah, uh, yeah. We lost a little bit of political power. 1.16 every day. It's not too bad, though. Better consumer goods, but we can't really build too much now, can we? We can build these things, you know, roads, but... 25%, that's not very much for what we could really, really use. But after plant cultivation... Ooh, actually, can we have some... Public projects? Yeah, we probably will. 2% more recruitable population factor. Factory output, base, retention. Not bad. I like... I almost... I never ever choose, like... Uh, this side. Artisan guilds? I don't I don't like getting my growth hurt. But maybe I'll use it again sometime. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Still 106, huh? After that, the end of our struggles. Oh. Okay, so... Jun Ta Yu becomes leader of the party. The past few months have been stressful for all of us, but we found a way to survive and even thrive under the hardships we've been uh, forced to endure. Again, we emerge victorious. Very good. Oh, maybe change our, even our uh, identity, too. I do want to get down quickly to another research slot as well, as fast as possible. I think that would just be, that would just be glorious. Actually, can I, can I get manpower from you guys? Aww. Let me guess. Eh, you know, that, they, they really don't have much to spare at all, so that sucks. So how many more days we have with this stuff? Oh, we encoded signals will probably go. Well, how much? That's, uh, Fifty days left. That's quite a while. After that, we're gonna grab some metalworking just because we need more construction speed. That's really why. That's that's just that's just why. And metalworking and thank you. Very good. The end of all struggles. War industrialists. Very good. And fifteen days left. We're good. All right. So after this, can we? Getting the slain tiger. After taking out this malicious AI, we are left with this mainframe. We've never seen anything like this before, and all we can find out about its origins is some sort of prisoner overhaul or overseer AI. Peculiar. Even in the field, I would definitely want to do soon. Uh, 25 political power would be necessary to rally the people. All right, that's fine. We'll have enough political power, hopefully. Hopefully, we can get more afterwards too. That'd be kind of nice. Very good. Oh. Look at that. Oh, we can actually see his face now. Look at that. Oh, it's a Jun Fa. Not Jun Ta. Jun Fa. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, but okay. Sure, why not? Battle for Hoover Dam. We'll see what happens. 2277. We got a week left, so then maybe evening the playing field, because I would like to go to war as fast as possible. Terracotta. Oh, hold on. The Terracotta army here. Sentinels. Ooh, the old wall wall holds. More soft attack for infantry equipment. That could be pretty darn useful. Um, a land of ghouls. So over here is Sydney with the NCR Bagas and the Wither Dogarinos. Friends of the Tiger. Well, we can't do that because we're consolidating a rule. So we, we're kind of. That sucks. Wait, we could have gotten Gauss rifles? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, is it down here, though? Advanced Chinese power armor. Oh, we get. Or we could do that one, too. Oh. Oh, no. A final gift. The Iron Price. Repair Ministers. War support. Own them. We get a core of them. Communist grants. It'll be known as Thai. The Sterling Exodus. I'm just using Sterling, huh? Well, after this, I would like. It's only 5% more soft attack. What is this one? It says National Spirit Communist Grants. So we get them as. Huh. Gets a core on them. How about a request? First thing to say, we get a choice once Act 3 drops, so it seems like we should go down this way then. So, even in the field. Despite all of our efforts, the baggers are still somewhat unruly. We need to do something if we ever intend to spread south. South. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about if they're south or not. I, I have a feeling they're like northwestish, but maybe that's just me. I'm going to concentrate you guys up here. That should be pretty good, right? And we have no manpower, which really sucks to help, but whatever. Uh, help out settlements. Uh, a breeder colony? I'm not sure that does anything. Yeah, I don't think that does anything, does it? Oh, we took their soldiers and... Oh, we didn't lose any more money. Okay, well, whatever. Primitive radio, then? Cool. Alright, so how much... Can we cord this? Oh my gosh, come on. Let me just cord them. 
Water and scrap is exactly... Actually, we'll probably score this one first since we do need water and scrap. Evening the playing field. So much salvage. Oh, we just need... So we don't... We get a war goal against them. That's good. The terracotta army. Well, at this point, I want to go and do bodies for the war machine. We can teach the assets to use weapons easily enough. Their numbers would bolster our forces. All right. Probably doing a general attack right now is not a, a smart decision, but then again, I'd rather enjoy my campaigns than just play 100% smart. We've lost World War II administration. With most of our administration occupied with the ongoing war, the administration of our subjects has been left to the wayside. If we continue to neglect our overlordship, we may run into trouble if the war drags on. Free from our control? Eh, that's fine. You can have a little bit more independence. I don't really care. Gotta beat him up. Beat him up. I don't really care about our allies' manpower too much, as you can tell. Uh, we're doing really well over here, and we're getting a lot of army XP. That's kind of nice, not going to lie. Kind of nice. And I love bodies for the wall machine. Eventually, we will grab some young sand, maybe? Maybe not? Ooh, regain is not bad. Reinforce rate's okay. You know, let's grab some more young ma, maybe. Maybe? No, nah, I don't care about money. Yeah, I gotta go for artillery, even though we're not even using that, so. It is what it is. All right. Send you right there. You can take these guys out. That shouldn't be really a big problem. There you go. Ah, there goes the baggers. Or baggers. Is that the more PC way of saying it? Alright. After that, so much salvage. Unbelievable. In their search for a rat out of way and rat X, they've accumulated enough scrap to support a small community's needs. Funnily enough, there's a community just in need of scrap. That'd be awesome. And we got six days left, so that's all right with me. But it's for the wall machine. After that, maybe the doggies? Maybe the doggies gotta go. Go, 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 go. I don't mind putting you guys here as well. Help defend the line. That's fine with me. Ah, uh, bodies. So much salvage. Oh, we get a core on that too. That's actually really good to core first immediately. Alright, you should be almost done. 45. Are we still increasing our compliance here or what? Oh, it's so low. Oh, my goodness. Wasteland pacification effects scale by 0% due to garrison fulfillment. Well, that sucks. And riders, actually infantry equipment. Uh, we might actually be able to just do this from here on out. Imminent raid from the Wither Dogs. Muster defense. Alright, so we should have enough manpower to... Oh, we still don't have enough. Are we missing equipment or something? Or It's just manpower and maybe a little bit of equipment. Now that we should be able to make enough now. Let's grab some dedicated equipment so we can produce things a little bit faster as well. Falls ill. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Come on, I just want to core something. Just let me call something, man. Oh, we actually have enough scrap. Barely. But we'd have a little bit more scrap, which is nice. So much salvage. About a week will be done. So, resist the resistance. Our last step towards crushing their will is taking on the remaining officers. They are hiding in hidden outposts. Well, formerly hidden. Thanks to our advanced reconnaissance, we now have the means to finally put an end to any uprisings. So, with that in mind, I'm thinking about what the scope of the campaign is. Obviously, we want all of Colorado. I'm thinking, you know, it would be kind of cool. Oh, we repelled the raid. Great! Uh, that maybe we should try to get all the way to the Xi lands over here. I think that'd be good if we, as a communist Chinese ghoul peoples, uh, you know, link up with our communist brethren over in Xi land. Led by Mama Dr. Shang. Oh, good lord. San Francisco, uh, the head of San Francisco Harbor, or council, peoples, dudes, and dudettes. Ah, finally get a core something. Ah, makes me feel so much better now. Uh, sure, why not? Extract even more if we can. Capitol Hill, Capitol Hill, well, who, who took out Capitol Hill? Oh, what the heck? Oh, the North Pole Enclave is fighting them. Oh my, guys. Oh, hold on, now they're in their own faction, I forgot about that, aren't they? Twin mothers flee north, senators little helpers. Uh, I wouldn't recommend fighting these guys yet, but whatever. Twin mothers as a tribe seem to have taught their last lesson. Lannis' forces filling the valley and taking control of the sacred temples and fields. When the time came to finally bring Diana herself out for questioning, the Legion was left empty-handed. Diana would have opened her up her true home in paradise to Wastelanders and twin mothers refugees, seeking to heal from the injuries they took and prepare for a defense against further legionary attacks. Things are getting stranger in Colorado. C'est la vie. Ah, I love resisting the resistance. And now let's go ahead and do the Iron Press. I want to do the Line of Ghouls. But I want to do the doggies. Let's do this one first. To the west lies a strip of land ruled by ghouls, mostly left to their own devices. It should be easier for us to spread our influence down there. 
over there and we're mobilizing 0 0.015 every single day up to 30 percent hopefully oh there we go manpower finally finally armored in chrome huh Atlanta ghouls, and then the Wither Doggerinos. The Wither Dogs are exiles led by an almost feral ghoul and forced into hiding. We could lead them into flight or drag them and say, I just want to be as violent as possible. Offering an alternative, the Ghoul Clique. That'd be kind of cool. But expansion through force. Why waste our time on ditching ghouls when we can just take what we need? Send out an expeditionary force. Maybe this doesn't make too much sense in terms of uh, lore-wise, but... Man, I just want to be violent right now. I'll be honest, I, I don't play Hoi 4 to be, normally, normally not to be too peaceful. Sometimes, sometimes peaceful. But, mmm, I play to have a good old time. Actually, we should research a lot more support equipment after we're done here, too. Oh, we got a lot of guns. Go and do that, because we need more anti-tank rifles as well. Throw a lot of them on there as well. Uh, Sentinel Command Slave. What do we use slaves for? Do these guys use slaves? They actually might. Do you guys use slaves? No, we love slaves here. Slavery for life is super nice. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, the North Pole Enclave. Actually, we might be lucky. They might not go to war with us. I'm talking about the North Pole Enclave just because um, the, the range is just too much of a range for them to actually touch us. And we don't want to get touched by them, but it's always good to keep that in mind. Mm, a little bit too ahead of time. I think it's it's time for a little bit of dinamite. Ah, oh, explosives. Make me happy. How do you make real-life explosives? I don't know. I don't know, FBI. I don't know. Doggies. We could probably use that for helping putting down resistance, you know. And if we put them under infantry, we get more recon. Not much. But it'd be nice. And they're 100% reliable. Your doggies are reliable. Did you know that? Oh, grenade ruffles. Oh, yes. Anything else unique here? Anti-material rifles. Scoped Gauss rifles. Very nice. Rapid deployment. I always, I always do this one. Flexibility of movement. Because it's so good for more breakthrough. And more special forces capacity multiplier. I would like to do this one, but it, this one's just better overall, in my opinion. It's just better. So are we making these things or not? Never mind, we just made them. Cool, great, love it. New commander. Tan Jin. Jin. Go land that person, thank you very much. We're going to head straight to Fort Collins, and can we record this? Yes, we can. Do we have any more resistance around here? Uh, no. Very good, very good. Uh, let's see, finding purpose for their remains. Well, it's been rather bloody, however, their base offered a lot of pre-war circuitry, wasting away in store rooms that we wouldn't have found otherwise. Alright, time to have a good time. If we all attack, we shall all do well. And we shall do a slight, tiny, teeny bit of damage there. How many men have we lost? One guy so far versus 48. Could call an outer alliance, but I'm I'm kind of okay with that for now. Fort Collins, I'll need to take this to you. That's fine. We've lost one guy versus 109 versus one guy. Versus 140. A 17, okay, we've taken quite a few more losses, but I'm not too worried about that. Thank you, Cheyenne. Thank you, Fort Collins. Thank you for playing. Go and get some max planning. I love it. Oh, do you have an upgrade? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, recon bonus. You know what? I never choose that. And I probably... Actually, I probably will this time. Ooh, let's grab some awareness so everyone gets that. Right, let's go observant leader because I normally don't choose that. So, let's try something a little different, you know? Alright. Weaponry wise, we're doing tremendous on infantry equipment. Tremendous now. Absolutely tremendous. Spec ops equipment's looking actually really good. Why am I making that garbage? Goodbye. Because these guys... Oh, where it's at. Wait. Wait. They're not... <clears throat> Wait. They're not considered... Okay. Asking veterans. Well, this one's better overall, so... <clears throat> if the... Is, am I... Was I reading that right? I mean, infantry... Sentinels... Are we... Uh, what? Uh, I mean... Okay, yeah, why not? I'm not gonna complain. Well, I, I still could, but I'm not going to. Sure. 
Sure. An army of power armor? Oh, here we go. Infantry wise, I guess just. Actually, for you guys, I'm going to switch you and you to make sure that you're both Alaskan veterans. There you go. That would be nice. It's very nice. I don't want you anymore. Garrisons are nice. How much infantry armor do we have? 341. That's not bad. It's not great. It's a good thing we're still mobilizing because we are not looking very good right now, are we? So after this one, let's go ahead and do some a little bit of terracotta army. Following our analysis of the mainframe, we found an ex ex executable file called Terracotta Mark 1.1. I'm so pr proud I actually made it. .exe. What could go wrong? Communist industry, declassified communist industry. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what are we missing? Wait, what are we... Oh, the withered dogs. Wait, hold on. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I thought. That is exactly what I had thought. You know what? If that's the case, make a pup a, bu a pup ton of them. Mm. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna need... Oh, oh, okay. This isn't great power armor, don't get me wrong. It's not great power armor. But... That ain't bad, you know. Dedicated equipment, very nice. Air stuff, let's grab some more air stuff, why not? We can grab some triplane attackers eventually, have a good time. We've caught a good chunk of Colorado. Well, I wouldn't, maybe, a chunk, maybe not a good chunk, but a chunk. A thick little chunk. Man, we need so much more, um... I'm gonna go with frag grenades too. Uh, technology, first of all. We need more manpower, we just need a bigger industry, we need more cores. Oh my goodness, we need so much. That's all right. Dinamite, thank you very much. Go with three. Go with three. That'll be nice. Go down to one. Thank you. All right. Apostle declare one of the mild lurks. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and do glow bugs. I think it's the luminous ones next. The luminous ones are an almost feudal society based about some proclaimed prophet. It will need to show a force to win their lands and people, but how far should we go? Stonks. We aren't quite sure what index fund is or even if they exist. Against advice from an esteemed advisor, Jeremy, this investment has done great in growing the wealth of our nation. Bull? Maybe bear? Perhaps so. Still no manpower. If that's the case... Ooh, steam powered extraction's nice. Well... Technically, we're not considered special operations, or spec ops, for this power arm, I believe, right? So... It can be parachuted, which is cool, but... Eh, I'm kind of okay with not doing that, then. Maybe we can save that for something else, perhaps? Fleet logistics, no. Reinforcement. You know what? I'm gonna choose this one. You long. Not me, but you long. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we don't have, oh, we have more political power. God dang it, that's my, that's my bad. I should realize that. Ooh, advanced Chinese power armor or German engineering? I think we have to go with advanced power armor. I think that's what we have to do. Truly, before the Great War, Homeland was about to incorporate American servo technology into our own power armor project. They're theoretically pushing it far, or with pushing it to its par with its counterpart. Unfortunately, all that is left are the prototype schematics and its automatic fabrication template. My bad, I should realize I, should, I need to keep more political power. Declassified. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, father's influence, of course. Lambs for the slaughter. Alright. Alright. Armor born. Not bad, not bad. Here are the people. We still need to lower the autonomy of the, these folks over here, wasting away. Oh, we gotta get rid of that too. Fresh recruits? Well, we don't have that many fresh recruits. We are building ourselves quite a bit more, which is kind of nice, actually. Well, you might as well go and do that, why not? So, they make a whole batch of doggerinos. There you go, thank you. Here we go, yay! We'll go down, you know, we'll probably go down to one at this point. Oh, we don't, we have eight army XP, that's not enough. Uh, well, well, it'll be enough soon enough. Do I have to manually just find these guys? I hope I don't have to. Since the field testing, Alright, so we gotta go back to this one. Yeah, because these, these guys are luminous ones. That's good. Uh, not that many days left, which is nice. And finally, we'll go back to this one. Executing the Great Glowing One. Segregation and Deportation. The Fa Guang de Clique. Spreading Communism. We love spreading communism here. Alright, my bad. Now let's get that one done. Not spending any more political power. Kong Wu, Luo Feng, and Yu Wei. I like Kung Wu. Kung Wu, Kung Mi, Kung Yu. And keep building our roads up. Very good, very good, very good. Sydney. Build up some more civilian factor workshop. Civilian workshop, yeah. 
After that, I guess we'll be executing the glowing one. One bullet, oddly that enough, that's all it took to take down the remaining defenders. A dragoon took out the leader with a single shot from the rifle. The rest gave up immediately as they noticed their leader was, well, gone. It always seems like we're missing lo just loads and loads of manpower. But then again, I guess that makes sense since we're trying to make more divisions, so. Who knew? Alright, let's head on in. Have a good time. We should do relatively okay here. Lightweight metals. You know, we could probably use. Go to hospitals. Alright, you know what? Agricultural. Uh, that's not worth That's not too bad. Let's get that one too. I'm not sure what this one does. I'm not sure if it even does anything. Invest into the Iron Alliance. You know what? Screw it. We'll give it to that. And this will gain some more army air XP as well, which is kind of nice. Red Mountain, you know, very, very good. Gain some core and chug water. Let's go ahead and grab another core. And, deseg and segregation and deportation. Most of the ghouls followed by example, so we'll be able to re educate them quickly. Others, however, are more adamant in their beliefs. Nothing a generation of old tradition of work camps can't solve. Oh, that'd be so nice. So, so very nice. Oh, they declare we're on the Hounds of Day, huh? Good man. Hounds of Day, sons. Y'all fooling yourselves, thinking that we would give into your foolish demands. Absolutely foolish. And we're doing a pretty good job. We can't... God dang it, this is a glitch now. We can't see what's going on here. Up out, help out. I think they're really trying to not die here too much. How many minutes have we lost? Blackstone was annexed. 35, that's not bad. And we got some frag grenades too. I love blowing up our enemies. Infantry, let's grab some more defense. Thank you. Improve our dynamite. Thank you. Chinese power... Oh, mer mark. Wait, why is that different? Mark 2. Huh. 30 armor. While this one... Has... 24, yeah. Um, well... Okay, why not? Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. They're literally just fighting until they all die there. Which is fine with me. I mean, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Can they pierce us? No, they cannot, which is good. It's a good thing he's leading the attack, too, so... This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So lost 35 guys in the past few months. If that's okay, it's the next focus after this. Let's do a finding a cure. Unbelievable! Not only does a cure allow us to heal our minds, but even regenerate other parts of our body. Did you know that? I didn't, because I should probably read the thing before we do that. My apologies. So, but even regenerate those who already did. Well, to a certain level at least, it won't be easy or cheap, but how can we neglect our potential new people? We finally put an end to the, the disgusting, disgusting run. We now have 5 air XP and 36 army XP as well. Which is very, very good. Very, very good. Well, everyone, we've just found another cure for the rot. The evil, disgusting rot. And we still have some stuff we can do up here as well. But let's keep going down here and maybe do some extensive field testing, maybe? Or let's do the glow bugs. The glow bugs are a weird assortment of ghouls around Boulder Dome while they offer tribute to some <clears throat> capitalists. We might be able to get our own foot into their door. Either way, by force or more subtle means. Uh, eventually, we do have. We have already core this area, which is nice. We have only so much manpower. Off screen, I've already thrown on a couple more support companies on their divisions. They're looking pretty darn nice, if I do say so myself, and the glow bugs are ready to go. Riders could be, use a little bit more improvement. 20 combo with. They could probably use some improvement down here, but we only have so much army XP. But we could go to war or we could just kind of wait. Let the masses speak. The Jushi clique. I prefer one final push. The final area of uh, the Ghoul Lands is Boulder and his dome. We will act swiftly and without remorse, bringing together all of it. Now, I do want to wait for them to finish off these guys down here. The cult of a realm of Diana needs to die, but. You know what? Hmm. We'll see what happens, I suppose. Oh, no, maybe... I don't want to go to war with them until they're good and ready. So, we shall wait until they are, of course, good and ready. I wonder, do we have anything for, like, Colorado, like, period? Just, like, all of Colorado? Colorado. One final push, of course. Uh, oh, it's down here. The u -clique. Consolidated rule in the former Colorado area. Well, that's kind of cool. So that might be it. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Uh, is there anything for, maybe, Dog City? Maybe not, so we might have to manually go to war with Dog City. Which, you know, not great. The Pit Bulls, huh? They have a lot of divisions. They have a buttload of power of robots. Not power armor, but robotitos. So we'll see what happens. Oh, that is not ideal. Okay, then. 
Mm, I did take some of our allies' division, so goodbye. <sighs> a little better. Not much better, but a little better. Uh, how about settlements too? That'd be good. Demilitarize? You crazy you think we're going to demilitarize, son. And after that, we should just go ahead and do be taking Boulder. The last of their forces have positioned themselves around Boulder Dome while they aren't able to enter it. Well, its surrounding structures are still well preserved. Time to strike. Hopefully, they can beat up Realm of Diana. That'd be very, very bueno for us. So, I'm going to wait. Because they're pretty close. Paradise could still fall. 45,000 manpower. You guys have none. If the Helms of Day start losing, I don't mind attacking these guys and uh, get them what we really deserve. Man, manpower. Oh we're, we're, oh, we're done mobilizing. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm glad I went down manpower, but that is really not a lot of manpower, I'd say. All right, so we could do that. We could do stuff down here. Pioneer kits, we might as well. We do have some spec ops division. Alaskan veterans, really, but, you know, whatever. And he's a net person, which is good. What are we lacking? Power armor? Infantry armor's looking pretty good. Power armor's going to be a problem. Fighters are going to be a problem. What do you expect? We only have so much of an industrial base, and we're trying to build up more roads for some reason. Um, at wood. Yeah, we're trying to build that up too. Go and do that first. That's fine. There you go. Now this villain workshop. I would like more military factories, but that's fine. Come on. Please kill off Diana. Please, 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 please. Anything around here? Perfectly. Eh, yeah, you might as well do that since we can't choose anyone else, right? How many more days? Four days. Acclimatization training. We're probably going to go and grab some heavy trooper area open open area tactics. Desert, plains, forests. Not bad. Or we should... Yeah, we'll do that one anyways. Why not? 16, 15 days. After this... We're going to go ahead and do the Iron Price. Eh, Temple King South. Ooh, just five Wurgle Sons. Why not? With our foothold established in the north and our military industry ready to act, it is time to push south against newer and larger, bigger threats. Because this, obviously, this sub mod, the Red Menace, is not a massive mod yet. It's going to take some time for it to. I love the Troll Warren died. Uh, to, you know, get more fleshed out, we'll say. So. And yeah, that's fine with us. I'd uh, like to core boulder, please. Thank you very much. And we are there. Oh, we got some backyard workshops as well. Good. Very good, actually. Uh, some refined tools that would be very nice. Oh, oh, hold on. If the AI is smart, and they, I guess they were smart. Great. Time to go to war. I want to end this episode going to war anyway, so. Here we will go, because they have no manpower. Oh, wait. We can't go to... What the? Hmm. Ah. 60 days... 65 days. 125 days. So, Boulder. My bad. I thought we could have gone that done already. Apparently not, though. Alright, so everyone has anti tank. We got plenty of anti tank around here. Yes. Yes. These guys do not. It might be worth putting anti tank on these guys just in case. Even though, does this give us a little bit more piercing? Not really, no. Doesn't give us more soft attack, more defense, more HP, a little bit less armor, of course. Just in case. That's fine. There you go. That'll make it look a little better. We could really use more manpower, though. Oof. Alright, next up. Monoplane fighters, because we're already using fighters. Might as well get the best fighters, right? 13 days. After that one, we're going to go ahead and do... Disassembling classified technology. Let's do the Raymer rocket silo. Another point of interest has yet eluded our grasp, to be honest. We didn't need yet another rocket to cause for nuclear hellfire. Heck. Ugh. Another salvage... Additional salvage might come in handy, though. And that could be really, really good for us. Yeah, this focus tree is enlarged, but that that's okay. That's totally fine with me. I, I always appreciate and like sub mods for pretty much any mod, really, and to try them out and play them, especially in Old World Blues, because I love Old World Blues so much. So, if the person who developed the mod is watching, thank you for developing the mod, and, and uh, you know, keep, keep at it. Keep at it. Hmm. So these guys have some anti-tank. That's not ideal. 76 planes, not bad. Give you a little bit more war support. That's alright. That's looking better already. Spec Ops, you can do that one. That's fine. We just... We pretty much have enough of everything except resource-wise. Is in factories, but, you know, what else is new? Hit and run? I love hit and run. Let's grab some walking tanks. Love walking tanks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. So, the Legion joined the Legion, if you didn't know that. The Legion usually likes to join in the Legion, but, you know, whatever. Updating the system, we can all use another one mole civilian factory and 15% more factory output, which is really, really strong. We've kept much of the facility's industrial tech untouched, merely preserving it. Let us change that, my friends. Let us change that. Four days left, that's fine. we got enough times over here. Ah, oh, good. Another division. 
in which... Actually, we're going to have to core some stuff aren't here, aren't we? Yeah, we might have to core a lot more stuff. The Raymer Silo. Opening the missile silo has proven rather easy. While the missile itself has been fired already, it appears that a lot of gear from the Alaskan front has been stored here for later research. We can make good use of it. The Alaskan veterans find an old server we can use. Whoa! Hold on, we get another research slot! That's actually really cool that we got the Alaskan veterans, and because of them, we get artillery ammunition and a sixth research slot. Wow! Wowzers. That's so cool. Oh, we have the command module. Yeah. And that we, we need it for this, which makes sense. And shell batch? Oh. Wow. One factory has an output rate or a factory output of six per day. Not bad. Wow, this is very cool. Let's grab some crop rotation next. Six. Oh, that is so strong. I love it. I love it so much. All right, let's put these guys down before the resistance gets too high here and they can't do anything about it. And then we have to suffer the resistance penalties. I hate that so much. I hate resistance penalties so much. Oh, ready artillery barrage. At least one of 155 millimeter artillery shell batch stored. Uh, give a charge for the artillery commander ability. Requires to have a shell batch in storage. Shell batches can be built via the production interface. Okay, so we're not winning here for some reason. Uh, are you the... Yeah, this is who I thought was doing this. You guys, I'm a little bit more flexible with. If we just cut these guys off, they'll, 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 they'll die. And actually, you know what? It seems like they actually might be doing last stand here. I could be wrong, but they might be doing last stand. And these guys have been cut off anyways. So, Updating the system is nice. How about we go ahead and disassembling classified technology? There are still a few rooms in the facility we kept uh, for our, our robot staff to handle. Technically, only a general is allowed to access them, but who could stop us now anyways? Well, aren't we a general already? Oh, we got to raise our conscription level too. To your conscription, here we go. Actually, go to, go straight for Boulder. There's not going to be too much resistance there for us. Good, we did an encirclement. This is still glitch. Gosh dang it! But whatever. Yeah, I think they're. Yeah, that's that's pretty strong for us. They can pierce us, but hopefully, can't do that much damage to us. And yes, I might be killing off Iron Alliance's manpower. I don't really care to be honest. <laughs> if I'm totally honest, I don't care about the manpower. As made to be used, and Lee Mock can learn more if we take a lot more hits. I suppose you could say. Williams, Narrow, Penitentiary, Paradise, all good places to get and grab. And go. Don't insert a lot of guys, please. Thank you very much. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is our planes? Alright. Interesting. Interesting. I was not expecting that, but okay. After this, I'll probably just get rid of these guys. As much as we like them. Well, maybe we don't like them. I'm gonna get rid of them. They're alright. They're not great. They're just really not great. I mean, obviously, our soldiers are actually pretty good, so. And they died. Beautiful. There you go. Help out. The less soldiers' losses that we take, the better. Ah, oh, good. Three, four divisions down there. We will have to take out the Hangdogs, or the Warden, really. Eventually. That's, that's on the list. That and a whole lot of other things are on the list. Right, manpower. Knowledge and power. Agent Yulong requested access to some of the locked off rooms in order to repurpose the equipment of the Guan Bu. Ooh, look at that. I like that. Less resistance targets. There we go. That's good. Oh, God. Oh, no. 65% resistance. It's going down because of us, but. Oh, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, my friends. Go ahead. I'm glad I sent this guy out here already. We're to administration, we were this earlier. Give him more freedom, I don't care. After this, yeah, do that, fine. Go, just move in, get rid of that. Refine tools. Part standardization is fine with me. Uh, so how much more do we need to do to capitulate these these dudes? Well, we can't see, gosh dang it. Oof, alright, so if that's the case, I want all of you guys to come over here. And just go, wazow. Wazow. Actually, screw it, I'm, I'm getting ready to be guys. Get out of here. You're ruining my lot. Oh, actually, uh... There we go. That's better. Actually, can I... Rec because I sent... Oh, gave you these... Oh, I still can't send me stuff on. Huh? Call to arms. We could call them to arms, but now we're good. Yeah, we can make more power armor. More power to us, you know? Oh, God. These guys aren't moving. Guys. Oh, God, no. Please. Please move. Monoplane fighters are nice. Let's 
grab not ah, it's almost we can basically do engine advancement this advancements at this point come over there that'd be good do that do that grab as much crap as you can knowledge and power five land fighters and follow it up with Chinese intelligence and ingenuity using everything from upper levels of the facility you have to offer we are now ready to pull equipment on a much larger scale as well as listening in on our potential enemies with the facility back in working order, we can combine both branches to achieve full effectiveness. Framer is renamed to Zhi Fong Bai Hu Complex. Very good. Anything? Oh, ready they are. No, they're not really alive anymore, so I don't have to worry about them. Oh, demand a raffle tear. Well, we'll demand it once this, these guys are all dead. Let's see. Is, it, is there anything else we can do here? Like, oh, we gotta get Ouroboros. That's right. The, the Ouroboros Nation. Every time I say Ouroboros, I don't know. No, no. I, Every time I hear that name, I always think of Resident Evil 5 and Global Domination, or something like that. God, Albert Wesker's a weird guy. But maybe that's just me. Maybe he's a big daddy to somebody else, which is really weird to say, but you know what? Sometimes it's not. Anyways, anyways, I'm getting too weird here. Sentinels, head on out. Ouroboros. Oh, for the love of God, just get down there. Come on, someone, please. That's, we're going to need to not do some... Focuses for a while so I can get some of enough political power so we can core stuff. Oh my goodness, 55 pounds a day. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need so much more of this armor too. Holy bad words. Um. Oh, we're out of infantry equipment too. Oh god dang it. But. C'est la vie, it is what it is. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider, please consider leaving a, a little bit of a like. Uh, subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully reunite all of Colorado and start trucking towards the west through Utah, Nevada, and eventually get down to the Daddy She down there under Dr. Shang. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.